keep living the adventure. Axis of awesome. What is up, adventurers? I have an absolutely exciting video for you guys today, and I hope you are excited, uh, as excited to see this video as I was excited to uh, get this. Um, so I came home today, and my wife had placed uh, this package on my workbench. Um, I sort of knew there was a package coming. I did not expect this package to come. You recognize the label. Sean Huckster, the great 3D master, sent me a box. And I have to admit, when I opened this, I was completely floored. I was speechless. Um, when I emailed Sean, I didn't know what to say other than thank you. And that's kind of still where I'm at. Um, this is awesome. Sean sent me a care package from his lab and I'm excited. I opened it and I got this really cool letter here. Uh, this is great. Um, I don't like, again, I don't know what to say. It's got the Huckster Labs prototype protocol assignment. It says, congratulations, you have been selected to undertake a special assignment. Your obligation, put this equipment through its paces via various adventures. There is no other requirement included in this shipment the Rax Platform 2.0, Backpack Drone Launch System, Tranquilizer Bazooka, Retrojet Drop Canister, Foldable Tricopter, Wildlife Wound Sealant Gun, Energy Light Gun, and Experimental Arm Controller with three Tesla Energy Weapons. Huckster Lab wishes to acknowledge your interest in adventure and is happy to provide this equipment to help in that endeavor. Sean Huckster, Huckster Industries. Huckster Labs, 414-2024, Sean Huckster. Guys, I don't even know what to say. This is so amazing. Uh, this is one of the coolest things anyone's done for me in my 49 years in this realm. And uh, I'm excited to share this unboxing with you guys today. And uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy doing it. Uh, we got a lot of really cool things here from Sean, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to follow the list here and unpack each of these and share them with you. So stay tuned, adventures. All right, guys. So first up, we have the Rax Platform 2.0, now with legs. This includes hinges, legs, and the AT training tower mounts done in an awesome black color. Uh, you guys have saw my review of the Rax system. It is amazing. I love this thing. And you want to know the irony of this. It's all black, which is rad, right? So this is cool. I got the mounts, um, all the components. I'll put this together when needed. It's a brand new uh, system. I'm sure Sean's done a few uh, upgrades to this as well. Can't wait to... Uh, Put this through its paces. And the coolest thing about this is, it's almost like Sean read my mind. I am in the process right now, and I'll grab it real quick. Just to give you guys a little bit of a preview, I'm in the process of taking this old troubleshooter um, body and redoing it to make a troubleshooter 2. Uh, so I've, I've got the black racks for this now. Um, the, way, the world works in absolutely mysterious ways, so I cannot wait to incorporate this Rax 2.0 into my Troubleshooter 2.0. Awesome. Next up, guys, is the Backpack Drone Launch System. It is a uh, portable drone that you can take with your adventures into the jungle or the desert and launch this Large format surveillance drone. It has control pad slots uh, that slots into the backpack and a backpack solar charger. This is awesome, guys. Check this out. So we've got the uh, oversized drone right here. Um, assuming it comes off some way. We'll have to figure that out. Oop, we'll have to figure that out at a different time. Cool. Check that out. That's the control tablet. 
to fly the drone. <laughs> so dope, man. And you've got the uh, backpack with the Huckster patented cool uh, backpack, or I guess, I don't know what you call these, your, uh, not hinges, but your attachments, your harness for your backpack. So this is super cool. This is the launch platform here with the legs. Awesome. And this thing comes off, I assume, like this. What we'll the figure that? Oh, nice. I know. I see. Boom. The clips. Duh. I feel like a dummy sometimes. But uh, let's put this thing down here. I'm so completely excited and giddy. I feel like I'm just stumbling through this whole video. Look at this large format drone with the cool camera. This is awesome. It's got the legs that fold down here like the other surveillance drones that we've seen in the past. So awesome. Wow. This is cool. Now, I've never seen this before. I don't know if this was in one of the sets Sean did back a few years ago. I'm not really sure, but this is cool, and I definitely can't wait to incorporate this into a photo story, guys. So this is the backpack drone launch system with the large format surveillance drone, the control pad for the backpack, and then the backpack solar charger. And we have the control tablet here for your drone. Wow. Next up is one of my favorite items that I do not have. Well, the, uh, the backpack drone launch system I don't have either, actually. But this is something I don't have. And I, when I was messaging Sean via email, uh, talking about things, I told him I wished, uh, I think maybe a couple times maybe, I told him I wished that he would, have he would make the, the bazooka system he has as a, just a separate accessory um, to, to sell and he sent me one of these awesome bazookas and I cannot wait to incorporate this to a photo story. This is the tranquilizer bazooka. It includes four darts and a dart storage box. Guys, this thing is awesome. It screams adventure team. Check this thing out. And I know this has been in a couple sets, I think maybe one or two, but this is super dope. Just look at that thing. It just pops. It screams adventure team. I absolutely love this. And I can't wait to incorporate this into a photo story. This is awesome. The Tranquilizer Bazooka. Super dope. All right, guys. Next up is one of the coolest things in the Huckster portfolio. And that is the portable foldable tricopter um this thing is super cool now you guys will see a video um this week on this accessory set and i'll go ahead and tell the story um forgive me i'll repeat it again on the uh the upcoming review of the cybernet explorer accessories but there's two versions of this actually and uh, i did not realize that i bought the very first the gen one version of this and there is a tendency to have uh, fatigue cracks in the uh, in the portions there. And um, Sean eventually uh, made these pieces thicker here at the hinges where there were cracks were starting to develop and made a beefier version of that. So I'll tell the story in the uh, in the video coming on uh, Tuesday, the reviews day. But uh, this is an awesome accessory. I absolutely love the foldable uh, tricopter. Um, it has multiple uses, and it's absolutely super cool. Love it. All right, guys, up next is an item I have absolutely never seen before, but it is super dope. It is the Retro Jet Drop Canister. So I have yet to do a review of my drop canister that is on my list of items um, for reviews day, but uh, Sean came out with this drop canister uh platform several years ago and this is an upgraded version which features a cool set of engines on the bottom <clears throat> and then stabilizer engines i assume here at the lid so when this thing shoots out of the adventure team transport it activates and then comes down um, i got another thing here that was loose let me grab it it's this uh, one, another one of these little tablet control areas, or not areas, tablet control uh, pieces here. 
to control your drones or whatnot. I'm not sure if this goes with this or not, but uh, it could definitely be used for that. So when you're dropping this out of the AT transport, you've got your adventure down there controlling this thing to the ground. So this thing is loaded with accessories that Sean sent me. I have uh, <clears throat> some new portions for the, uh, the wrist comm and some Huckster badges it looks like. And then right in here, I don't even know what this thing is, but we're gonna check it out. This is super cool looking. Let's pop the top off of this bad boy. Okay, <clears throat> so these, I believe, are the, uh, let's see here. It goes to <clears throat> one of the wildlife kits. I'm looking at the list here. These are projectiles, I believe, for the uh, tranquilizer bazooka. So these are the dart, the four darts that come with that. So um, we already did the tranquilizer bazooka. <clears throat> so these are the trank darts that go with that, which is super dope. I mean, that was a. I don't know if you guys remember. I, I talked about this in one of the. Uh, Oh, this is awesome. In one of the videos that I did, um, Sean did a really cool diorama display for one of the G.I. Joe Collector Club conventions. And uh, within that display was a like a pygmy rhino, I think, or uh, something similar to that. But he had all these really cool 3D printed items. Um, his uh, helipack was in there as well as his trank bazooka. And it was one of the neatest things I'd ever seen. And I don't think I told this story when I did that uh, helipack review, but that helipack would later appear in a uh, storyline in the G.I. Joe Collector Club newsletter, which I always thought was ironic, you know, they they never did that. I, 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 when I saw that in the, uh, in the Collector Club newsletter, I always assumed at some point the club would get with Sean and they would do uh, that set for the G.I. Joe Collector Club, but it never materialized. I don't know if it ever <clears throat> was going to be materialized. So, Sean, if you're watching, maybe you can let us in on that a little bit. Um, that would have been cool. Sadly, you know, the Collector Club's not around anymore, but we definitely have Sean Huckster, and we have all the awesome, cool gear that he is providing for our adventures. This Retro jet drop canister is super cool, and uh, this will definitely make it into a photo story along with the Trank bazooka and the darts as well. Freaking awesome. All right, guys, next up is something super duper dope. This awesome metal briefcase. I'm not sure where Sean found these at, but this is awesome. The case actually works like a real briefcase, so you can... Pop the top, and inside is this awesome wildlife wound sealant gun. This is super cool. So the idea is when you take down an animal for uh, you know tagging or whatnot, you can repair any of the damage done to it with this super cool wildlife sealant gun, wound sealant gun. So it's got the cool gun here. And on the top, you've got this really cool 3D print, printed in slot that fits these little canisters. I'm not sure what these go to, but if this is something that was absolutely uh, already made and then Sean developed something for these, that is <laughs> some next level stuff right there. Next level genius stuff. It's awesome. Um, it comes with three different color variations. we got a, a purple, uh, a red. And a aqua blue as well as a clear one. So um, this is really cool. I don't know if you found those at Dollar Tree or what, but uh, there is a there is a very large community of individuals who go to Dollar Tree and find things that absolutely work for the GI Joe Adventure Team and the Elite Brigade, and make those things into new uh, and cool, exciting gear. So this is super awesome. The briefcase is dope. The pistol's dope. 
and the uh, the little canisters are awesome. So this is the uh, wildlife wound sealant gun with three sealant resins. Do not break; it will stain. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've learned that the hard way. Uh, a spare bottle and a briefcase carry all. This is awesome. All right, gang, welcome back. Next up, we have a, an item that you guys are all familiar with. If you uh, follow Sean and Cotswall Collectibles, and that is the Energy Light Gun. Uh, this is an awesome item. This has been on my list of uh, things to get here in the future for some of my Super Joe uh, photo storylines. This has came in a couple sets, I believe, that Cotswall had produced, and I might be sold separately as well. But this is an awesome uh, item. Basically, what what it is, you've got a flat, just one of the, the little flashlights, LED flashlights, and then Sean's taken and retrofitted these awesome uh, laser accessories onto them. Uh, it's battery powered. You can see here how cool that looks. And then you've got two different mounting options. You have the uh, the portable mounting option here, which comes with the single handle and the handle here. And then you've got the one that um, you can use on the stand. Well, actually, both are compatible with this little camera stand. But Sean designed these to uh, mount to these little mini camera stands. We'll go ahead and put it on here. Just snaps in place like so. And then this baby goes right on there. So your Joe... Or your villain or whatever you want to call them or whoever you want to use. i got to get this screwed on there better. Your villains can uh, get on there or use this thing to do some serious evil villain damage. So this is a really cool item. I think it's awesome. Um, it's a neat idea. I've, like I said, I've wanted one of these for a while. It was on my list. And uh, luckily for me, I got this baby. So... Um, I'm working on a photo story right now, and I'm probably going to go ahead and rewrite a couple scenes and incorporate this thing into it. But uh, this energy light gun is freaking awesome. All right, guys, wrapping this up. A few items of note here. Sean sent me uh, blueprints for that uh, brand new Rax 2.0 platform. Awesome. I also have the blueprints for the light cannon that we just went over a little bit ago. He sent me the comic for the Save the Endangered Pigby Rhino, which I believe was a uh, Cotswold set. Um, and come to find out, some of the items that he sent today that we looked at, uh, the backpack drone launch system, the Trank Bazooka, uh, as well as a couple other things, were in this set. I, I remember it now uh, as I did this. This is just a live unboxing, kind of. Uh, I forgot about some of that. This is completely awesome as well. He also sent me uh, Rax compatible carrying or a Rax compatible, uh, what would you call it, uh, carrying system for the uh, helipack that fits on the Rax system, which is really awesome. Uh, this brand new experimental arm controller, it's made from a translucent green uh, resin, I believe. This will be really cool to implement into some of my Super Joe storylines. And then these amazing tesla pistols i love sean's retro inspired tesla pistols i plan on getting me one of these now i have three different color variations clear red and an amber color these are awesome if you guys aren't familiar uh, sean has a shapeways page i believe where he does retro inspired uh, laser weapons i'll put a link to that as well as sean's uh, youtube page where you can see some of the amazing new products that he's working on for the future i don't know what to say guys this is amazing i'm pretty shocked you can understand when you get something like this you don't really know what to think uh, all you can really say is thank you thank you sean for all that you do for us and our hobby um without guys like you uh we're all just sitting here wishing we had cool things for our adventure team figures i live the adventure with your products to, along with a lot of other people's but man, you're killing it, and I just can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart for all this. It is amazing. I appreciate it, and I will put it all to good use and make you proud, man. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this super cool uh, surprise mail 
call unboxing. Best one ever, I think. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think of these items. If you have some of them uh, through Cotswold or if you're excited about all the cool stuff Sean has coming out in the future. And uh, in the meantime, guys, keep living the adventure and cheers.